Hello, my name is Tom Zamzo. I'm the Church Council President at Ascension Evangelical Lutheran Church in Antigo. This Sunday, June 7th, we plan to reopen worship to our membership. And this video has been prepared to share some of the changes that people will experience as we want to provide a safe environment for our members and also allow to return to some normalcy with our worship. First of all, we want to state that people are not obligated to worship. Um, we have the online uh, services that will continue where people can watch the service on Facebook. People are not obligated to come on site for worship. If you certainly are not feeling well, uh, we ask that you would stay at home and worship um, as we have the last couple of weeks using the Facebook link. As you make your way towards the uh, church, you will be greeted by one of the ushers. And as you come into the building and find your seat, we're asking that as you come in, please work your way towards the front of the worship area and we'll fill the church from the front to the back. You'll notice that the seating has been spaced out six feet apart. We've taken a row out in between and moved the chairs so that uh, there's plenty of room between each row. We're asking that families can certainly sit together. And if you're in a row with someone you're not related to, we're asking that you use three chairs to space yourselves out between the next people that are sitting in that particular row. The service will continue with hymns and the liturgy and singing as we normally do. Some hymns may be shortened. Feel free to wear a mask. Masks are encouraged but are not required for the service time could also please use the restroom prior to coming to church so then that um, area would experience less traffic and um, we will continue to clean the church area and after each service sanitize um, areas that are frequently used by our worshipers. We will continue with a communion schedule. We won't be having communion this Sunday but would rather like to show people how we plan to uh, serve communion. Some of the details include the ushers excusing communicants and asking them to walk back towards the fellowship area and then back up to the front of the church using the west aisle. And you will find your uh, bread and wine on a napkin by the hymnal board and as you pick those uh, two items up walking towards the front of the church where pastor will invite you to partake in communion and after his blessing we will exit towards the organ side of the church where the dispenser will be for the communion cup and then returning back to your seats we will have an offering at each service. The offering plate will be in the fellowship area for you to drop off your offering either before or after the service. After pastor has made his general announcements at the end of the service, he'll be stepping out using that uh, door on the east side of the worship area to greet people outside. Ushers will be dismissing our worshipers from the back moving forward. And as you are dismissed, we're asking also that please feel free to have conversation in the parking lot area, but we're asking that people not uh, congregate in the fellowship area at this time. We will continue to post our services both on the live link on Facebook and then on YouTube so people will continue to be able to enjoy the service at home. We hope to eventually enhance that 
uh, recording so that um, as we plan to further to offer that as an option for um, people that may not be able to worship on a Sunday. We hope these adjustments are um, reasonable and safe for all, and we expect that it, it will take some time for us to uh, become familiar with these changes, and we also pray that we will hopefully be able to return to our normal worship routine sometime in the near future. So thank you for listening. We're looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. And God bless you.